If you've been staying up to date with our channel, then you would know we recently replaced our door seal and our belt line moldings. Well, in today's video, we're going to show you how to replace the vent window seal along with the door glass window seal. Here we have the CJ's Classic Truck Glass Window Channel Kit. In this kit, it will provide you the seal for the vent window and then a seal for the window that's actually in the door. Now with this kit, it will prevent any of the vent window chattering or any wind noise if you're getting any because your seals are currently in bad shape. Not only does it prevent all of that, but it will make the truck look a lot nicer if your seals are damaged or even missing. Now while you're doing this kit, it's a good idea to replace your belt line moldings if they are in bad shape. You can find the belt line molding kit and this glass window channel kit directly on our website by using the link in the description down below. To start this install off, I'm going to go ahead and remove the belt line moldings just to make life a little bit easier as we're getting this channel glass out. Now if you want a good in-depth video on how to do these belt line moldings, we do have a video on our channel. I'll link it down in the description if you want to check it out. Now we need to get the channel glass out of the door. So what we need to do is to remove these two screws down here and then three screws along the top of the door and then we'll have our channel glass out. Now to make life a little bit easier, we're going to remove these bottom two screws here. That way we can actually slide the window into the door more to be able to get the channel glass out a lot easier. Now when you get the channel glass to this point, you're going to want to actually turn it about 90 degrees because there's a bracket inside that needs to be able to clear to come up through the door. So this is the bracket I was talking about. This is where the screws actually bolt into. When you get it up to the top point of the door, that's why I said you have to turn it about 90 degrees so it actually fit through the door itself. Now that our channel glass is out of the truck and on the table, we can remove that old seal. If your seal was as bad as ours and was falling apart the whole time while you are taking it out, it's a good idea to go ahead and clean up all the old debris that was in there so that way we can install the new seal correctly. Now that our vent window channel is cleaned out and ready to go, we're able to grab our 3M black adhesive and our new seal and install them together. When you're using this stuff, you do not have to use a lot at all because when you start to use too much, it'll definitely become a mess.
Remember, it's always a good idea to put adhesive on the channel itself, but on whatever you're actually sticking onto the channel. Now we'll let this adhesive dry before we put it back in the truck. Should give it about 15, 20 minutes and then we'll be good to go. It's time to put the vent window back in and we're gonna wanna repeat the same process as taking it out. So we'll have the window at a 90 degree angle here, slipping in through the door. And we'll start to turn the window. Now that the window's back in, we can start reinstalling the screws. With our vent window done and out of the way, we're gonna start on the actual glass window seal here. So let's remove this and then start prepping it for our new one to be installed. With our old seal out, we're ready to put the new one in. Now when you're putting this in, you want to make sure that you have the side with the holes on the curve. So if you look here, the shorter end is going to go up here, and then we'll wrap it down and then inside into the door. Now when you're starting off with this, you want to make sure that you are putting it up against the vent window on the top section here, and then we'll work its way down inside. As you're tucking the ceiling, you want to make sure you're kind of pulling tight towards the top of the door here, just to make sure everything is nice and fitted well. When you're working the bottom part of the seal into the door, it's a good idea to grab some glass cleaner to lube it up to make it slide in a lot nicer. Now you don't want to use any type of oil or anything because the seal will actually absorb that and make it a lot thicker so it'll be harder to get into place. Once you have the seal in place, you're all wrapped up and you can actually go ahead and install the two screws that hold in the back track. And then from there, you can repeat the process on the other side. Well, we got that install all wrapped up. And as you can see, it's not too hard of a job. If you give yourself about an hour, you should be able to complete it in that time frame. It's time to drop a gear and disappear. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, check out the link in the description for all your classic truck part needs.